you've been watching the news for the past few days or on Twitter or, or TikTok, you're probably familiar with the name Gabby Petito, the 22-year-old aspiring social media influencer who was reported missing after her fiancé returned from their van life excursion without her. On Sunday, human remains believed to be Petitos were found in a national park in Wyoming. An autopsy is scheduled for tomorrow to confirm the identity. Now, it goes without saying that no family should ever have to endure that kind of pain. And the Petito family certainly deserve answers and justice. But the way this story has captivated the nation has many wondering, why not the same media attention when people of color go missing? Well, the answer actually has a name, Missing White Woman Syndrome, the term coined by the late and great Gwen Ifill to describe the media and public fascination with missing white women like Lacey Peterson or Natalie Holloway, while ignoring cases involving missing people of color. Joining me now is Derricka Wilson, co-founder and CEO of the Black and Missing Foundation, and Lynette Gray Bull, founder of Not Our Native Daughters, an organization created for the awareness of the missing, exploited, and murdered indigenous women and children. Thank you both for being here. You know, I, you. I, I, I bring up this point because there's a case that's so similar. A, a journalist friend of mine, um, Derricka, sent me this this story about a young, uh, uh, you know, about some other people that are missing. There's one guy whose name is Daniel Robinson. Daniel Robinson uh, is a young black man. He's only 24 years old, five foot eight, 165, black hair, brown eyes. That's his description. His dad has hired a private investigator to find him. Um, he's missing part of an arm. He was last seen driving away from his job site in the Buckeye, Arizona desert on June 23rd. And his case struck me because it's it's very similar. He's missing in a, this, you know, the same part of the world. Um, it's a case that it has all of that same kind of sizzle, the sort of mystery of it. This young man uh, who just goes missing. It, I never heard of it until this friend of mine sent it to me. Uh, and I guess that's sort of that's the issue, isn't it? It is definitely the issue. And we have been sounding the alarm for. You know, guys, I really feel sorry for the family of Gabby Petito because. You know, it's, it's, it's really sad that, you know, you have a loss in your family, a genuine loss. You know, your daughter's dead. I and mean, you turn on mainstream media, liberal news, and all they have to do, all they want to do is cry about Black Lives Matter, women of color. They always want to politicize at every opportune moment, you know. And even though Joy Reid, before she even went into her spiel, started off her segment by saying that the loss of a child, you know, is a great burden for any parent, you know, summarizing, right? You know, I feel like it still minimalizes the death of Gabby Petito and the trauma and the pain that these parents are going to have to grieve with probably for the rest of their lives, you know? And I did a video on this channel about two TikTokers who said the exact same thing, guys, is that, you know, everybody's worried about Gabby Petito because she's white, you know? But 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 no one cares about the black, the woman of color, all right? The woman of color, black people, da 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 And I said this in my previous videos, guys, is that, you know, mainstream media and, and liberal, uh, I'm sorry, local news networks, all the time they have the opportunity to talk about missing black children, dead black children in the inner cities. They have all the opportunities to talk about issues that really affect black Americans who live in these uh, poor environments, but they choose not to do so, you know? And, I, and actually, I would even counter Joy Reid's argument because I remember there was a time where black people were uh, uh, found or ended up missing in the, the, the Dominican Republic. People from America going over there, black people going over there, and nowhere to be found. You guys can Google it. You know, I can't think of the, uh, the, uh, the case right on top of my head, but it was covered. It got national media attention. So why, why is the mainstream liberal media using this opportunity of Gabby Petito, um, which I believe they have identified the remains that were found in Utah as Gabby Petito? Why are they using the death of Gabby Petito as a political moment to push a political narrative? You know, it's just real sad to see you know, how far the left will go to push their narrative. And then, of course, um, MSNBC is going to bring on these uh, activists 
from whatever organization they're from, the masculine black woman, you know, this is just kind of off topic. Nothing feminine about the women I just saw, and I'm pretty sure you guys will agree. You know, and that's all they care about is the, the LGBT community and poor blacks. It doesn't matter about anybody else, and this is why people, and I said this in my last video, but this is why people are saying all lives matter. That's why people... That's why All Lives Matter is the natural response to Black Lives Matter because these movements, these radical black movements, these radical LGBT movements are pushing an agenda which will end up where blacks are above everyone else. It's not about it's it's not about Black Lives Matter as a sense of okay, let's focus on black lives who may or may not have been lost to police brutality. Now it's we want to push black people on a pedestal above everyone else because of some uh, racial injustice that happened that nobody on earth was around back then to, to be responsible for. You know, and that's 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 what Joy Reid and a lot of the liberals who are coming out on social media and the mainstream uh, mainstream news media. That is pretty much the message that I'm receiving from them when they come out and they're saying the things that they are about Gabby Petito. And then, you know, the way they phrase it, white, white, what did you say? Um, the missing white woman syndrome. You know, the way they phrase that to try to identify with the liberal blacks or liberal uh, women of color. You know what I mean? It's just real unfortunate to see. And honestly, guys, and I said this in my last video, you know, the, 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 the mainstream media coming out the way they have and these liberal uh, social media uh, content creators coming out the way they have. And speaking about the death of Gabby Petito in the fashion that they are, to me, that's a slap in the face to the parents and the family, uh, the extended family of Gabby Petito. You know, and I really feel like the left is trying to minimize that and shift the focus from Gabby Petito to something else that we don't even know the facts about. We already know. I mean, MSNBC, Joy Reid, she put up a, a, a picture of some guy that may have gone missing, but we don't know the facts to that situation. We don't know what happened. We know that mainstream media, they often like to present uh, stories and portions that they feel like they want to present to the public to frame their own narrative. It takes the public to have to do their own research to check into these stories that uh, news outlets like MSNBC, CNN, that they like to push out there because they try to frame it, their own narrative and leave out pertinent facts. So who knows what happened to that guy um, that they presented on the news segment with Joy Reid. But, sure, you know, Joy Reid, I have no respect for her. You know, I have no respect for her. I mean, you could just, just her image on TV, the way she presents herself. The way MSNBC uses her as a mouthpiece for black Americans, as a mouthpiece to convey the liberal message to what they perceive as black America. It's just very disgusting to me, guys. And, you know, honestly, if I was the parents or if I was the father of Gabby Petito, I wouldn't be able to even turn on the TV. The death of one woman isn't minimalized because some woman of another color uh, didn't get the publicity that the left feels like it should have got. You know, and that's just my two cents, guys. I could be wrong about this. I don't think I am. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section box below. Like this video, share this video, and subscribe to my channel for more content.